All right, in this video, I'm going to do another example of solving a system of 3 by 3 linear equations using Kramer's rule. So we have x minus y plus z equals 4, 2x plus y plus z equals 7, and negative x minus 2y plus 2z equals negative 1. So the first thing I'm going to start off by doing here is just by writing down the coefficients. So we have 1, negative 1, and positive 1. 2, 1, and 1, and then we have negative 1, negative 2, and positive 2. So I'm going to compute the determinant of this matrix, and I'm going to do so by expanding along the first row. So it looks like we'll have a positive 1, and then we'll need the entries 1, 1, negative 2, and 2. Put a uh, negative in our, uh, for our middle term, and then it says we use negative 1. And again, if I cover up that row and that column, it looks like we'll have 2, 1, and negative 1, 2 left over. And then we use a plus sign. If we use the last entry, we've got 1 there. And then it looks like we'll have 2 and 1, and negative 1, and negative 2. So if we compute these, it looks like we're going to get 1 times, it looks like we would get 2 uh, plus 2, or 4. We've got a positive 1. 2 times 2 is 4 minus negative 1, so it looks like we'll get plus 1. And then we have 1, let's see, so 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 minus negative 1, so again it looks like we'll get a plus 1. So okay, 1 times 4 is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5, and then negative 4 plus 1 is going to be negative 3, 4 plus 5 is 9, 9 minus 3 is 6. So I'm getting our d value here to equal 6. And now we have to simply go back and compute our d sub x, d sub y, and d sub z. And again, uh, still have a little ways to go here. So to compute our d sub x, we leave the y column alone. We leave the z column alone, just like it was. And then we change our x column, we use the values on the other side of the equal sign. So 4, 7, and negative 1. So now we've got to compute this determinant. So again, I'm going to expand along the first row. So we'll have 4 times, let's see, 1, and 1, and negative 2, and 2. We use a negative sign in the middle. Now I go to my second entry, so we'll have negative 1. Let's see, it looks like we would have a 7 and a 1, and then a negative 1 and a 2, and then plus, okay, if we use the last entry, we'll have a positive 1, and then we have a 7 and 1, and negative 1 and negative 2. So let's see here, we'll have 4 times, uh, it looks like 2 minus negative 2, whoops, or we'll get a 2 plus 2 plus 1, 7 times 2 is 14, minus negative 1, so we'll get plus 1. And then our last value, we'll have 7 times negative 2, which is negative 14, uh, minus negative 1, or plus 1. So let's see here, uh, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 4 will give us 16. Uh, 14 times, or excuse me, 14 plus 1 is 15, times 1 will give us plus 15, and then negative 14 plus 1 is negative 13, so it looks like we'll have to subtract away 13. Um, let's see, so I'm getting, it looks like 18 here to me, uh, 31 minus 13 would be 18, so it says our d sub x value is going to be equal to positive 18. Alright, so two more to go here, uh, let's compute our d sub y. So again, to do that, now I'm going to leave the first column, the original x column, alone. I'm going to leave the z column alone. And now, I, again, I replace now my, my y column with the values 4, 7, and negative 1. So same thing, I'm just going to expand here along the first row. So let's see, it says d sub y is going to equal, okay, so we'll have 1, then we'll take 7 and 1, and negative 1 and 2. Use a negative, the next entry would be 4. 
let's see if we cover up that row and that column it looks like we would have two and one and negative one and two and then our last entry we have a one and then it looks like we would have our two seven and negative one and negative one so if we compute this it looks like our determinant uh, in the first case will be seven times two which is fourteen minus negative one so we'll get fourteen plus one minus four times well let's see two times two is four minus negative one or plus one and then our last determinant it looks like we'll get um, two times negative one which is negative two minus negative uh, seven so we'll get plus seven and if we simplify this down a little bit further it looks like we get fifteen um, it looks like four plus one is going to be five times negative four would be negative twenty and then negative two plus seven is going to be positive five so to me it looks like we're getting negative five plus five or a value of zero for our d sub y All right, one more to go here. When we compute our value for our d sub z, again, I'm going to leave now the original x column alone. I'm going to leave the y column alone. And again, now we replace our z column with these values of 4, 7, and negative 1. All right, so again, I'm just going to expand along the first row here. So we'll get one. Um, it looks like if we, if we expand along uh, that entry, if we cover up that row and that column, we'll be left with one, seven, negative two, and negative one. Use a negative for the next sign, uh, but again, our next entry here is negative one. So if I cover up along that row and column, it looks like we would have um, 2 and 7. So, and then also negative 1 and negative 1. So cover up the row, cover up the column. Okay, that looks good to me. And then plus our last entry in that row is 4. And if we cover up that row and that column, we'll be left with the 2, the 1, the negative 1, and the negative 2. All right, so let's see, we've got one times, let's see, one times negative one would be negative one minus negative two times seven, which would be negative 14. So we'll get negative one plus 14. Then we have a positive one times, let's see, it looks like negative two minus negative seven or negative two plus seven. And then we have four times, let's see, two times negative two would be negative four negative one and negative negative one and one is negative one so we've got negative four minus negative one or negative four plus one so let's see um, negative one plus fourteen is going to give us positive thirteen let's see negative two plus seven is going to be positive five negative four plus one is going to be negative three times four is going to be negative twelve so let's see, 13 plus 5 is 18, minus 12 is going to be positive 6. So I'm getting our d sub z value to equal positive 6. And now to actually figure out our solutions, okay, we've done the hard part. Um, it says our solution for x. So to get our value for x, we just take our d sub x over d. So that's going to be 18 over 6, or we'll get positive 3. To get y, we take our d sub y over d. But our d sub y is 0, so in that case, we'll just get our y value of 0. And last but not least, to get our z value, we'll take d sub z, divide that by d. d sub z has value 6 over 6. It looks like z equals positive 1. So it says our solution to this original system, x should be 3, y would be 0, and z would have value positive 1.